Hello everyone, this is uh, Mine45 a lot. Um, I just thought I'd introduce you today to my Queen Ant. She's been very busy. There she is. Uh, she's a uh, Lazius Niger. And uh, I've never kept ants before, so she's brand new to me. It's a new experience, but there she is, collecting up her eggs and moving them out the way. She's got a bit of condensation in her tube, but um, I'm not sure what to do about that. I'll have to research that one. I don't want to disturb her too much because uh, she's obviously, you know, she seems fairly content. The eggs are getting bigger. She did originally only have eight, but I think she's got ten or more now, and some of them are getting a little bit bigger, which is good can't believe that little dot there could possibly be an egg, but oh, apparently it could be. Apparently it could be. Those two tiny little dots. Apparently they might be eggs too. But I've been fiddling around with the light to uh, just try and so you could see her better, because it's very hard to see her. I've put her on this green background of a book and that's shown the eggs up nicely but um, she is quite hard to see with this little camera I've got it's uh, an endoscope camera with its own little LED lights on so you can turn it up and down I'll just try and show you that hang on try and hold it still as it getting brighter this is, that was maximum by the way and you can turn it down slightly but then she starts going you can't really see any detail on her but it's probably because she's in a glass tube as well maybe when I get her in the formicarium uh, she'll show up a bit better I'll be able to get in with her maybe when I uh, finally come to move her in there but I won't be doing that for a while yet I'm gonna let her get a few workers out of those guys at the back there I don't know if you can make them out see the bigger ones I'm not sure how long they take but they're definitely over double the size they were so that's great and you know I don't know how long how much longer it will be before they do what they've got to do I know they turn into little chrysalises and all of that first but I'm not entirely sure you know oh she's having a wash that's good it means that she's must be sort of content if she's having a wash. Don't want to shine that light too much in her face. Yeah. But yes. I've got quite a large formicarium. Um <coughs> which I built myself. I'm very pleased with it. I'm uh trying to let the grout dry in it in a minute because uh, it's it's a little bit smelly in there of grout and I'm hoping that will disappear before I come to put her in because I don't know what that's going to do but yeah I've got other videos if of, of the former carrium if you want to watch them on my channel it's channel mine 45 a lot um, and you're very welcome to subscribe and like any of the videos you see there it's mainly minecraft stuff but I'm hoping to build up a little collection of um, videos here the reason I've got got away with this with my wife having ants in the house she wasn't too keen on the idea but uh, I then said what can I call her and then she went well call her Anthea so you know it's perfect now she's named it, she has an attachment. <laughs> so <laughs> it's less likely to get thrown out of the house. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. So this is Anthea and this is her colony. Well the start of her colony. So you know, it's a watch this space and we'll try and get some good videos of her. Because, you know, it's a little hobby now apparently they can live 15 years so it might be a long hobby 
and four to seven thousand uh, in the colony, you know, so it might be a long, large, large hobby. So there she is, just picking up another egg. As I say, it's not the best to detail through this tube. Just double check, she's not eating that one actually. She doesn't look disturbed. Oh, she separated them off. Oh, it's a clump of eggs. Well, there you go. That's a whole clump. She separated one off and put it in the pile. So she's got even more than I thought, which is bonus. I'm happy she's... I'm happy that she's so happy. As you can see with this test tube as well, I'll just come back further out. What I've got, I usually keep it in that chest. It's a very dark chest, you can't really see it here. But I keep it in there for now. And at the minute, I have her... And I close the lid and it's nice and dark. I've got it wrapped up in this glasses case as well. This felt glasses case, so keep it really dark. And what I do is she's resting on blue tack, so the tube is always kept nice and still. Even if I pick it up, she should remain fairly still because of the blue tack. So she's not rolling around. So I think that's another reason why she's so comfortable being moved around because there's not, you know, that might just take all the vibrations out of it having the blue tack there. So we'll see. She looks okay. But yeah, that is Anthea. Sorting out her eggs, doing her stuff. And she will be the only one that gets named because once the others are hatch, there's no way you're going to know. I'd like to call the first one Flick, obviously, because for the colony and all that, but not going to happen. You'd never be able to follow it. Maybe I'll call all of them Flick. Oh, look, there's Flick. Yeah, I'll do that for the boys. Which one's Flick, Dad? That one. See? How can you tell? I just know. It's Flick. <laughs> Sorry. Terrible. Still. There you go. There she is. Flick. Going back for another one. I'll get this light out of her face in a minute. Bless her. Right then, I've disturbed her enough for today. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Uh, I will keep you up to date with her and when she has, when they have hatched and her little brood gets bigger, I will keep you up to date with everything. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe or like if you are interested in following Anthea's uh, little tale and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it thank you bye